So welcome back. In this video, we are going to modify a Sega Gremlin Dual Vic or Sega Gremlin Extended ROM board. Games like Carnival um, and head on to Slash and Binko. And they come with 162708s. So I'm going to show you how to modify it to use 42732s instead of 162708s. The first part of the video I'm just going to show it to you how to do it. And if you're interested in the theory behind why it works, we'll um, talk about you know, why it works and um, what I'm actually doing in the second part. So if you want to just see how to do it, you can just watch the first four or five minutes and then um, you know skip the rest. Or if you, you're interested in watching the whole thing, I hope most of my patrons are, are interested in watching the whole thing and actually learning how to do it. Um, I will say that this... I didn't have to figure it out myself on this one because it actually was in the manual, but it wasn't actually labeled. They So they clearly they thought about doing this probably in future boards, revisions of strapping them for 2732s. And they actually had information in a table how to do it with jumper settings, you know, um, solar jumper settings. But they, the solar jumpers weren't actually labeled anywhere. So you know, you had to kind of figure out where they were. And that's, um, so in this video, I show you where they are. Um, and I show you that I can walk through actually why this works based on what they have. So these modifications will work on a Vic Dual or a Vic Extended ROM board. They will allow you to replace the 16 2708s with four 2732s. So here's your board. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut four traces. Up here near the CPU, we're going to cut these four traces that are highlighted in red. I'll leave that up for a few seconds so you can see that and mark them on your own board. Okay, here's up close after they're cut. Now we're going to remove the solder from six empty vias. So here's the vias. You can see I removed the solder from six of them. And I'm going to now show them highlighted in orange, two in orange, two in blue, and three in purple. I'll leave that up for a few more seconds. Now we're going to connect together the two blue vias, the two orange vias, and the three purple vias. Here's what it looks like when it's done. Now we need to combine the 162708 ROM images into four 2732 ROM images. This game, where I give you the example, is Invinco Head On 2. Now burn the ROM images onto 2732s and insert them into U4, U8, U29, and U33. Excellent! Now it's 
merely a matter of time. Before my board is modified. So to accomplish this hack, we have to find a 24-pin EEPROM that holds more data than a 2708, which will be pretty easy. But we want one that has mostly identical pinout to the 2708. Then we need to reroute the pins that don't match and then map in additional address lines so that we can provide that larger ROM with the extra addresses to match its extra storage. I decided to use a 2732 because that's the largest EEPROM that's available in a 24 pin package. And all but two pins are identical, which is great. Only pins 21 and 19 differ, which is great. And they happen to be the extra voltages that the 2732 don't even need, which is great because we can just remove, isolate the lines that provide that from the actual voltage and then we can reuse that. Now on the 2732, those pin 21 is address 11 and pin 19 is address 10. So we can now use those power rails that we isolated and just plug them directly into the address lines. So here we see those, those power rails that we can cut and then that will isolate them from the power and then we'll just patch them in to the address lines. As I mentioned earlier, it looks as if they intended to probably support this configuration and release games like this with the 2732s because they have a table that lays out how to do this and what to cut and so forth, but the things to cut into jumper are not actually labeled on the PCB. So there's a table in the schematics that tell you how to do it, referencing jumpers um, that aren't actually labeled on the PCB. Anyway, here's the schematics. So you can see it tells you that pins 19 and 21 should be address line 10 and 11, and that you put the EEPROMs in sockets U33, 29, 8, and 4, and then it shows you the jumpers, and they're labeled on the schematics on another board of the page of the schematics, but they're not labeled on the, on the PCB board. So now we just have to make sure that the decoding circuit enables the right ROM at the right time. Because right now the decoding circuit will enable 16 different ROMs. So if we don't change that, the right, each ROM, the bigger ROM will only be enabled one fourth of the time it's supposed to be enabled. As I mentioned, this is actually labeled in the schematics, just the corresponding jumpers are not labeled on the PCB. So we just need to make E1 go to E3 and E5 go to E14. Then E8 goes to E9, which is already the same configuration as the 2708s. And E11 go to E12, which is already this configuration of the 2708. So basically we don't have to do anything for E11 and E12 and E8 and E9. And that's what these two cuts do and these jumpers. By making E1 go to E3, which is ground, and E5 go to E14, which is also ground, you're feeding the bottom two bits of the addresses address decoding circuit to zero. Now, two bits is four different combinations, which explains why you, rather than 16 different ROMs, you have four ROMs, and each of those four ROMs cover the, the four times the address range. As always, uh, I want to thank my Patreon supporters who allow me to do this. Um, if you're not a Patreon supporter, please consider becoming one. You know, you can give a dollar or three dollars. Three dollars would be more appreciated because pay, between PayPal and or whoever in uh, Patreon, they eat. If you give me a dollar, they eat like more than fifty percent of it. Um, but uh, you know, give a couple bucks, I appreciate it, and it helps me justify 
my very limited time to make these videos. I enjoy making these videos and teaching you guys things, but um, I do have a lot of going on in life, so um, it's hard for me to justify sitting down and spending the time to do this. Uh, but that helps out, and it shows that people actually are interested. So if you're not a supporter, please become one. If you are, thank you very much for your support.